Marco and Jeets, X1075. Uh, really excited uh, to have Laura here from the Nevada SPCA. Welcome, Laura. Hi, thanks for having me. No, thanks for being here. It really means a lot to us. It's exciting. Uh, it, it is very exciting. Um, I figure we get so many people telling us, um, you know, hey, you, you, guys are, you guys are crazy and you're out of control and everything. And I'm like, no, 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 we got big hearts. We just like to have fun. Yeah. So this is kind of our way to, to prove it. We love dogs. Jeets and I are, are big dog lovers. Huge dog lovers. Yeah. And uh, I have a couple myself. I know Marco has, you know, couple. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dogs. <laughs> I got two dogs. I got some more for you if you want. No. <laughs> Here's the thing. So I said we're going to do this bit on Mondays. Because hopefully you guys can come in every Monday around 8.30 and we'll bring a dog and get adopted. But here's the thing. I'm eventually going home with another dog. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what kind do you want? Well, I know. I know. <laughs> I just, I just, I love them. But um, you guys do great work there. You know, I went and I adopted a dog four months ago um, from you guys. And I just, I really, I was kind of amazed. I don't know why. I guess I, I shouldn't have thought that it wouldn't be a real passionate environment or um, that people wouldn't care as much, but the staff there was really unbelievable. I mean, it, it was you walked in there and you really got a, an interesting feeling. You know what? We love our animals there, and I'm not saying just dogs, cats. We have everything there, and we are. This is our life. Yeah, we were meant to do this. What's yeah. the most uh, unique animal you have there at the shelter? Something that people maybe wouldn't think about. Well, in the past years, we've had an alpaca. An alpaca. Yes, an alpaca. I don't, I don't even think I know what an alpaca is. Well, it looks like a, um, I don't know, a unicorn? A, a llama. <laughs> oh, a llama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit smaller than a llama. <laughs> hey, do unicorns exist? I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. If you can expert. find one, bring it to bring us. It we'll to, take yeah. it. A no, unicorn. We've, we've had chinchillas, uh, rats. I, there a, so iguanas? Yes, we've had iguanas. Yeah. yeah. They, huh. get, they get adopted real quick, and so did the chinchillas. We do rescue. We rescue from other shelters, from other locations. Um, so we do a little bit of everything. Well, we yeah. don't have a unicorn, but we do have an awesome looking dog, Stanford. Stanford's here. here. Um, Laura, tell us about Stanford. By the way, Jeets is, is are you live? Facebook yeah, live? Yeah, Facebook okay. live. You can check out Stanford right now on the Marco and Jeets Facebook page. Yeah, at Marco and Jeets on Facebook. But Stanford is is in studio. What a great looking uh, pup. Well, I knew you adopted a senior, so I thought yeah. let's start off with a senior. Mar- um, Marco, this is a 10-year-old. He's a little bit of everything. He is, I can tell. He's got some shepherd, some collie, but he got abandoned. His owners moved away without him. And it, what's really cool what is... What the hell is wrong with people? How can you even come to that decision? I mean, so Stanford's in this house, and everything's great, and the owners say, it's, we got to move for whatever reason. They're taking a job, or they, they want to move, whatever. But then they say, you know what, Stanford, you're 10, we're going to leave you here. Why? <sighs> When did you find the answer to that question, let me know. It's very, the sad thing is, he was very depressed. Yeah. Very depressed. And I got to see his transformation. This dog went from depressed, he was a matted mess, we had to shave him, and now he's happy. He wants walks, he wants attention, where before he would just lay around. And you could just tell how, how, can you imagine living in a house for 10 years and then being, oh, I got to move and you can't go with me? Wanna, Find a place that accepts pets before you move. I want to punch those people in the face. Yeah, me is that too. A, is that a bad reaction? No. Okay, good. It just, just feels so evil yeah. is the problem. I, and if you look at Stanford, like you said, go to our Facebook page and check him out. I mean, he kind of looks like a living teddy bear. He is adorable. He's cute as hell. You know, part of, friendly. The, and part of the reason I wanted to, to do this, because I figure if every Monday, at least a great dog like Stanford... Gets to get out of the shelter and smell some new smells, meet some new people. You know, I figure for an hour, how cool they get to go on a little car ride. He probably likes a car. Well, he did really well in the car. He yeah. just laid down and yeah, relaxed. Yeah, chill. You know, and so I thought to myself, my God, I mean, at least we'll get, we'll get a dog every Monday out and, and tell their story. Stanford is such a cool-looking boy. So he's 10 years old. Um, I tell you, he looks younger than 10. I mean, he looks really good. In the beginning, he acted like he was 10, but yeah. now he's like, nah, I'm a pup again. Now, what would you recommend, so for people listening that may be interested, um, and, and you're absolutely right, Laura, so I adopted a senior dog because I feel like the younger dogs maybe have a better chance of being adopted because, you know, it's a whole puppy mentality and everything. So I thought, well, let me adopt a dog that probably has not as good of a chance, an opportunity. Um, so it's kind of the same thing for, for Stanford. But I guess what I'm trying to figure out is what would be the best scenario for, for, for Stanford based on what you know, what you've seen of them? You know, any kind of home. A home where he just can relax, be himself. He's the kind of dog that 
anyone can take. Okay. Whether it be an older couple, a younger couple. He's a great first dog because he's so mellow. Yeah, he's so chill. What about kids? You know what? He'd probably do okay with kids. Okay, and he's happy with other dogs? He's, he's... happy with other dogs. He just kind of ignores them. I'm telling you, as soon as he came into the studio, he just walked right up to me and was like, what's up? You yeah. want to be friends? Just and I was chilling. like, yes, I do. Jeets, I'm just telling you. you know, I, I, I'm going to say he liked me a lot more than he liked you, Marco. No, and the, you know what? Then, you, then I think you should take him home. He oh, did. Like, he ran right up to you. It was really was a it's, nice moment. It's very... Uh, I mean, he is just adorable. It's like, it's like I, I'm probably going to have to say no, 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 but like it breaks yeah, my heart. Yeah, no. He I does mean, look like a teddy bear. He is. He's adorable. You guys, Laura, we were talking about the uh, Nevada SPCA, just so people are clear. No kill shelter. Yes. So these dogs are afforded every opportunity, um, and you'll stay and care for these dogs as long as it takes. Oh, yeah, we will. Um, we don't put a time limit on them. And they do eventually find a home. Sometimes it takes longer for other ones. Other ones go right out the door. But they do find the right home. What, um, wh- what are ways people can help? You know, maybe, maybe um, somebody just had a baby or they just say, you know what, I, I work too much, but I want to help. You know, can people donate money or or what about time? Can people become volunteers? You can volunteer. Do you need volunteers? We always need volunteers. Okay. Or another fun thing to do is to foster. So you might want to think about this. Oh, that's cool. I have that. Foster animals, any of the animals. Normally, it's pregnant dogs. In fact, we have a pregnant dog with seven newborn puppies that needs a foster home. Um, money, volunteer, walk the dogs, help with the cats, the rabbits. There's all kinds of opportunities with us. Uh, I think, I want to say Heather from, is it Mix? Mix 94? 94 one, yeah. Yeah, she, I think, fosters. Uh, She does. She has a foster dog from us. She's great. I, I, Heather's a lot of fun, and she loves dogs, so well, she's know, at the top of my list as a quality person. She comes to all person. our events, so now you got to start coming to all our events. No, I will. I just I didn't know anything about them. Yeah. We have a big event, biggest of the year, coming up in November, okay. so we'll talk more about that. Yeah, no, then. no. I'd love to help you guys out, really. I'm a huge dog lover, and I, and I really legitimately mean it 100%. Um, but Stanford is uh, is on the, uh, on the docket today. We really want to get him in a place where he can be loved. He's such a nice dog. I mean... He's so cool. He's so chill. Um, and like Jeets, you said it best. He looks like one of those, you know, those bears in the machines. You put it like 50 cents in and the, and the claw goes down to grab a oh, yeah. big teddy bear. He looks like a big fluffy teddy bear. You like know, he, when his hair grows out, he will have that teddy bear look. Yeah. We just have his, his hair is shaved and his head's kind well, of it's hot outside. Still. It's good. It could cool him off. I'm a telling bit. you, you look at Stanford and that's one of the dogs you just want to put your face in his face and just go, oh, hi, buddy. You know what I mean? Oh, you're so cute. I love you. Can you do the noise again? I love you. You're so cute. Stanford, uh, we will put his picture up uh, on our on our uh, Facebook page and Twitter page at Marco and Jeets. Um, and um, hopefully we can get the radio station to, to retweet it and promote it, hopefully. And, um, man, that is uh, – he's he's great. I feel so bad for him because he's so nice. You know what I think about? The, the drive that people took – I shouldn't think about this because it's negative, but I can't help it. The drive that people took to drop him off. Like, you know what I mean? I wonder, like, was there any part of them that were like, maybe we should just take him and he's been our dog for 10 years? You we know, I just try can't to believe encourage it. people. How he's do they – He's a senior. But do people walk in and they just say, here, we'd like to give him up? And that's it? It's that easy? We've seen that happen, yes. My God, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. But anyway, um, their loss, that family's loss, can be somebody else's gain with uh, Stanford. He's a fun pup. I think he made a great point. Whether you're an older couple, an active couple, or or anywhere in between, he'll kind of fit right in. He probably loves going for walks. He's smelling all around the studio. He loves his walks. Stanford! Good boy. He's adorable. He almost looks like he wants to crawl into the console and uh, make that his new home. He's just chill out. <laughs> Maybe we should get a station mascot dog. Yeah. They hang out here. Be like the station dog. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, we'll put the uh, pictures up online. And, um, Laura, hopefully you can come back every Monday or, or somebody else, you know, if, if you're too busy, can, can bring a dog or whatever. I'm sorry you're stuck with me. No, no, no. We love no, you. Awesome. I just no, you're love that. No, I love it. You're great. What I love about you is that you're a real animal person and you really care. And not only that, everybody listening, Laura has a pot belly pig at home that she takes care yeah. of, too. And 150 pounds. 150. What's his name? Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
<laughs> will you send us a picture of Ricky Bobby? I sure will. I want to put because I want to put like a little profile of you on our page, just because you're going to come in every Monday. But I'd like to say she, this is Laura and this is Ricky Bobby. I think that would be cool. Um, but we will put a profile up of uh, Stanford and try to get them uh, real quick for people the, the fees associated and what's I know what the process is. Um, but explain to people, you know, how it works. They show up, and, and then what happens? Well, definitely you want to come on down to the shelter. If you have any other animals, bring them down. Small kids, see bring they, the whole see family down. See if they get down. along and integrate yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, and like, you know, you go through an interview. You will talk with one of our staff members, and they'll interview you and make sure this is the right fit for right. your family. You don't want a Jack Russell Terrier when you actually just want to lay around and watch football. Right. So we want to make sure it's a proper fit for you. Okay, I'm losing it here. No, you're fine. It's okay. My train of thought went out. No, you're fine. Um, yeah, bring the family down. We're open seven days a week. Uh, we're what? on Dewey Drive. Yep. What are the typical fees for somebody just so people can be prepared for that? They range between fifty and one hundred and fifty dollars. Average is about seventy five. Some of them might be a little bit cheaper because of their special needs. Sure. So I mean, we're fairly reasonable. And uh, you guys make sure that they're vaccinated and everything. So um, spayed and neutered, yeah. vaccinated, microchipped. You even get a free vet visit and the food we're feeding them. Yes, I, I wanted to, to say that real quick. Is it, that is a very important thing you guys do, and I think it's a great thing. And, and I did it with the senior dog that I adopted from you guys. Um, there is a uh, a group of vets that you can take, and your first visit, basically the initial checkup, is a totally free. Uh, we went to the Summerlin Animal Hospital, and they were fantastic there. Uh, and they were well aware of the program. And um, so I give those people a lot of credit because you'll get, you'll get a visit for free. And, uh, you know, when when you're adopting a dog, that, that means a lot because the vet can, can check the dog out and say, yep. look, here's what we're dealing with, and, and, and here's the great part of, you know, everything. So uh, that means a lot to people. So you, you will get that. Uh, and like like I said, if, if you're in a home that maybe you work too much or you got a new baby or you just don't feel comfortable with the dog right now, volunteer. There's financial donations that you can give because you guys really – you work hard. It's it's an impressive environment. Um, it, if the country had the work ethic you guys did, the economy would, like, be great. So, really, no, they got <laughs> well, a lot of drive over there. It's really, it's really incredible the nice to see. The thing is we get no money from the government. We're strictly nonprofit, yeah. so it's donations is what we live on. Yeah. You ever look at some of the things the government gives money to and get pissed? <laughs> and then you realize good people like you guys don't get anything. Please. Definitely. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you being here. And uh, Samford, thank you, big guy. I'll try to get you a great home. And, um, you know, for anybody, this, we wanted to throw this out there, too. For anybody that adopts one of the dogs we feature here, we'd love to have you on the radio. Absolutely. And explain, you know, just to give you a little shout out and, uh, you know, and thank you on the air. So if that's a little more motivation, um, maybe you're at work or heading to work and you know somebody at your workplace, maybe they don't listen to us, but they could help uh, Sanford find a home. Well, that's that would be good. We, we'd like to have a little update and see how the yeah. dog's adapt and do his I'm new kick ass yeah. home. You know? Yeah, so we'd, li- we'd love to do that. Laura, we'll see you next Monday. I'll be here. And bring a picture of Ricky Bobby, your 150 pound pot belly pig. <laughs> he's pretty too. He's white. No more spots. No, you said, and he's potty trained, which I can't believe. Yes, he's better than some of my dogs sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It's Marco and Jeets, X, 107.5.